Well, what is the strangest part about life in the other world? As it is written also in the book, The Spiritual World 101, spirits no longer require what is necessary in this world. For example, it is impossible to deny appetite in this world. If you have three meals a day, we are not likely to become so hungry. Yet, we can't go without eating for a day. After a certain amount of time, our stomach will begin to growl with hunger. The desire for food can lead to suffering in this world. Then we have the desire for sleep, which we cannot deny either. For example, there are experiments done where people try to refrain from falling asleep. Some of both will say I didn't sleep at all. However, when you look at the hidden camera footage that was taken, you will soon see them nodding off and taking naps halfway through. That's to be expected. We can't overcome the desire to sleep. So having an appetite, the need for sleep, and sexual desires are the three great desires for human beings in this world. Nevertheless, the spirits in the other world are fine without these three great desires. They live in such kind of world. Now we can understand the meaning of the spiritual discipline in religion from the past. In most cases, the main purpose of the spiritual discipline in this world is namely as follows. Our physical desires in this world are absolutely necessary. Yet in the other world, these desires are no longer needed. So spiritual discipline allows us to undergo these experiences to a certain extent while living in this world. In spiritual discipline, there is usually a theme of experiencing what it's like in the other world while living in this world. For example, you fast for a certain period without eating anything, you sit in Zen meditation without sleeping at night, and you refrain from making contact with the opposite sex. This can be explained that they were making effort in trying to become more spiritual by practicing how spirits live while living in this world. This time, however, with close to 30 years of spiritual experiences, I was able to understand how true the teachings of Christianity, Buddhism, or other religions are. When 2,000 or 3,000 years of history have elapsed, there are many different opinions and interpretations that have accumulated over time. For example, if you think of Christianity, you have authority figures like the Pope, and in Buddhism, you have monks. With these kinds of figures putting their own influence and opinions into the ideology over the years, I somewhat doubt if the real true nature of the original religion is actually being conveyed accurately in modern times. If we play the telephone game and 10 people are shared a message that was whispered from one to another, the end result might be the total opposite of what was originally conveyed. It's potentially the same thing. Especially when we think of the fact that in the past compared to today, people were not good at keeping records. It is clear that the teachings of the founders are perhaps not being conveyed as accurately as they once were. There are other strange things, too. For the people in this world, it is strange how we cannot hear or see the spirits of the other world. But once you die and go to the other world, in the same way, your voice will not be heard in this world. If you try to talk to people in this world, your voice will not be heard. If you suddenly died from a traffic accident or a disease, you might not even be aware of your own death. You might think that you're not yet dead and try to speak to your family in this world. When everyone ignores you, you might think, how can they be so cold all of a sudden? There are many cases where this happens and the spirit is not able to understand. I'm not sure how much merit the funerals of modern times have, but they certainly have some meaning. Most people have been to the funeral of another person when they were alive in this world, so they know what kind of process it is. Therefore, when the funeral starts, you will look at the photo of the deceased person and become confused. You would think to yourself, that is my photo. Why are they showing a photo of me when I'm still alive? Furthermore, for a funeral in Japan, usually a monk comes, reads a sutra, a posthumous Buddhist name is given, and the people are all dressed in black with tears. 
Also, everybody eats sushi and drinks alcohol after a funeral while they talk about the deceased person. But in Buddhism, traditionally, you are not supposed to eat raw food or drink alcohol. It's kind of strange, but in Japan, people do this. It seems as if someone has died, yet people are celebrating the fact. When the spirit sees people all coming together, they start to realize that maybe they're having a funeral for me. However, those that stubbornly denied the other world and the existence of spirits with conviction will not be able to understand their own death. They will think, this must be some mistake, this is a dream, it's an illusion. They will think, everyone is pulling a trick with a hidden camera somewhere, and I am being deceived. They will find it hard to believe. The following scene was depicted in the beginning of the film, The Rebirth of Buddha. It's the story of a spirit who committed suicide. An enlightened reporter from the U.S. newspaper wrote a false report on a politician for being involved in a scandal. Suffering from the pain of his mistake, the reporter jumps under a train and kills himself. However, since he became a spirit, he doesn't believe he is dead. He wanders around the platform, disheveled from the accident, and tries to drag a young girl, who is the main character, onto the railway tracks. This is during the opening scenes of the movie. In this way, even someone who is highly respected in this world and contributed to society will not be able to understand or accept their own death if they don't know the truth. Death is very difficult for people to accept who have never received any form of explanation about the other world and have never tried to find out. Even when others have tried to talk to them, they will retort, that's all just nonsense. There must have been many chances for people to awaken to the truth during their life. For example, Happy Science has published many books and also released movies. In addition, apart from a religion, there are many other religions too. There are many different opportunities for people to become aware of the truth. In this world, it is certainly true that it is difficult to tell between a good and a bad religion, whether it is the truth or not. For that reason, many fall to the level of thinking that, if there is anything suspicious, don't believe in it, and simply reject everything. They only show interest in things that they like or something useful for their work. However, these kinds of people will not understand their own existence after they die. They have no answer when they are asked why they still exist. They are under the impression that they have not died yet. People who live like this have no connection with religion, so it is sad how they have nowhere to go and ask. These people who have denied religion will avoid going to places where religious workers give advice. If they went to a hospital, the medical staff at the hospital would not be able to guide them. There are a lot of these kinds of people whose families also don't really understand the truth. So with this in mind, the ones who are able to understand their own deaths and be able to accept it naturally are actually somewhat advanced in terms of the level of their souls.